Good morning. Thank you for being here today. What we're going to do today in the next five minutes is we're going to explore a little bit about how speech is becoming the new command line, how you can drive your computer or have conversations with your computer or drive the Internet of Things devices, how you connect thousands of devices and begin to control them and begin to do analytics and make intelligent decisions or suggestions based on that analytics you're getting back. I'm not really talking about artificial intelligence yet. I'm really talking about when I set my alarm clock in the morning and I have a 5 a.m. flight, why doesn't that turn on my coffee maker a little earlier for me? Simple things like that starting. But then, you know, moving up to building automation and other more complicated things. And how user experience matters. Um, What we see today is innovation is being driven by new user experiences and how you can focus on that innovation and not all the plumbing and let a platform as a service do the plumbing for you. We put together a little demo today of text-to-speech driving an Internet of Things device over the Internet. This device could be anywhere in the world. We had uh, uh, 30 or 40 of them roaming around last week with little cameras on them doing funny things. But you have to have a little imagination over the next five minutes. You have to imagine this as a drone or a car or building automation. We actually did this uh, the other week in our booth with a drone, and we were so excited to get the speech commands to make it take off, we forgot the commands to make it land, and my manager had to tackle it. So that's why they downgraded me to the uh, Sphero ball. So if this works, next time you can see a drone. So just to talk a little bit about the process we went through to create this. Um, first, you know, we got the call, said we had to do a demo. We said, oh boy, we have to do a demo. And then we said, oh no, we have to do a demo. Um, so we called a meeting, typical IBM fashion. We had a meeting on this. And during the meeting, a lot of ideas were discussed, everybody offered their opinion, and everybody left the meeting, and I said, oh no, I still don't have any code. And what happened was, it really started to fly when someone put the code into a pass, someone came by my office and said, I have some example code, you know, that's doing voice recognition to drive analytics commands. You could use that to drive your um, IoT devices. So they gave me some sample code and put it in the platform as a service. We enabled automated build and integration. And in about two hours, you know, four or five developers contributed a little bit of their time and we had a demo running. So let's just jump right to it. Let's try to have a conversation with my device here. Hello. Whoops. Hello. Hey. Who am I talking to? We are Sphero. We are here to help you. What is your name? It is me, Mark. Nice to meet you, Mark. You said we. Who else is there? Sarah and I. May I speak to Sarah, please? Hello, Mark. (laughs) How were you created? I am built by using a variety of services from the Bluemix platform's services catalog. We combine the Watson speech-to-text service to recognize key phrases, the Bluemix Internet of Things service to securely connect to and monitor devices, the MQTT service to publish and subscribe to information from the devices, the Node Red Flow editor to connect commands to actions, geolocation and fencing services, and also the Watson text-to-speech service to communicate to you and give me some personality. Of course, we hosted this in the IBM Bluemix cloud. Do you listen to everything I say? No, like the people in the audience. I focus on the important phrases and perform the actions associated with the phrase. What can you do? I am ambient computing at your disposal. I can monitor and command your devices hosted in the IBM Bluemix Internet of Things cloud. Typically, I monitor vehicle fleets, cool things like power boats, medical devices, and perform real-time analytics on the information as well as historical data storage and data visualization. 
I see you have a heart rate monitor, temperature sensors, and robotic spears. Sounds difficult. No, creating me was easy. It is really a new way of doing rapid development and deployment by using services in a platform as a service. I have humans that modified a few samples to connect the services. Unfortunately, for today, humans still program me. Okay, let's get to work. Can you locate my robot? Yes, using geolocation, your so-called robot is in Boston, with you. Can you make my robot change color? Yes, what color would you like? Color red. Changing. That is always the moment of truth. <laughs> color yellow. Changing. So Dave, can you, can you restart that? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> color red. Changing. Oh, boy. <laughs> Just restart the app. and uh, This always happens. The, dem the demo gods have never once been kind to me, which is why they didn't give me the drone. You know, I'm working my way up to the car, but, uh, okay, color red. Changing. There we go. Color yellow. Changing. Color green. Oh, we already got that one. Changing. Color blue. Changing. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> How about a dance? Okay, I will ask your robot to dance. It, it learned to dance from me, so don't judge the dance. So, How about a circle? Yes, I will ask your sphere to perform a circle. That wasn't much of a circle either. It spins a little on the carpet. Give me a break. Oh. What about my other devices? I see you have been using your heart monitor during running events and are using some Internet of Things sensors to monitor your wine cooler temperature. Analytics tells me your wine is in good shape. However, it looks like you may be cheating during some of the runs. I can analyze the Twitter sentiment. Do you want me to go there? <laughs> not, not right now, but um, we, we actually do. I am wear, wearing a heart monitor, and we do runs. And um, the event you saw on the screen was actually I rode a bike through Napa, and the uh, other programmers that were running with us realized that uh, I was going faster than I normally do. So they in instituted some back-end Spark real-time analytics, and now they tweet if I cheat. So, you know, be careful with your Internet of Things devices and what you do with them. But the point is, is you can build applications quickly using a platform as a service, using APIs, and you can add these things to your applications and begin controlling any device around the world, begin gathering analytics, making decisions. Um, thank you. <laughs>